Now, the hotel and hospitality show returns with a bang and comes at a time when the sector is showing signs of resilience and growth. The 2023 Hotel and Hospitality Industry Confidence Index indicates that participants across Africa are optimistic about the industry's future. Now, the show provides an overall view of the market from challenges and opportunities to the latest innovations and sustainable ideas for the future. For more, I'm joined by the DMG Events Portfolio Director, Evan Schiff. Thank you so much, Evan, for joining me this evening. Let's first talk about, you know, the latest revenue growth numbers when it comes to the hotel industry in South Africa specifically, and maybe also Africa as a whole. Certainly, and uh, good evening, and thank you for having me on. Um, we've actually seen some really amazing growth and a return to, almost return to normalcy for the African hospitality sector, and uh, South Africa is no different. Um, if we look at the recent holiday season, well, the uh, last holiday season, the summer season, um, as well as coming uh, now throughout 2023, um, we see in a lot of areas at least 70% return to 2019, as in pre-COVID figures. Um, and in a lot of areas, they are at 100, 120% of pre-COVID figures. So what that's showing is that uh, travelers are returning, business travel is coming back, um, and hotels, restaurants, they're busy again, they're seeing customers. Uh, and that, of course, uh, is uh, amazing for not only South African economy, uh, but, of course, all of the jobs and all of the businesses uh, that are provided. And, of course, if the hotels and restaurants are full, um, they also have to spend money. And uh, that's an amazing thing as well, because they'll be purchasing, refurbishing, uh, filling up on uh, sheets, on crockery, cutlery, uh, and really going out there and finding new suppliers and uh, uh, keeping the businesses going. Now, now, how big of a concern, you know, I know there are many challenges and thank goodness, you know, COVID-19 pandemic is not one of them anymore. Um, but of course, in South Africa specifically, the power crisis is uh, a factor and it probably does play a big role um, in future plans and future planning, uh, short term plans as well. So how is, does that impact this industry? So um, as with all other industries in South Africa, it does have an impact because uh, load shedding is something that doesn't just affect one industry over another. It does, of course, uh, affect everybody. So what does that mean for the hospitality sector specifically? It is adapt. It is you've got to uh, see what can be done and how you can move things forward. So that is looking first at things like energy efficiency. It is looking at how do you adapt your business to account for the load shedding? Can you do things differently? Can you use technology in different ways? Can you offer somewhat different services? services. Um, if you can do those, you look at energy efficiency uh, to make sure that you're saving as much electricity as possible. And then from there, of course, installing solar, uh, having diesel generators, uh, in installing uh, inverters or other solutions. Um, but of course, all of those uh, uh, elements, all those solutions do add costs. And that's something that is very difficult when you're trying to control your costs and you're, you're already in a low margin uh, business, which uh, the hospitality industry can be. So um, it is something that's uh, difficult, but we are seeing the industry taking steps uh, in order to take this forward. And this is, in fact, one of the things and one of the things that we cover quite extensively at the Hotel and Hospitality Show is... Uh, providing resources for hospitality owners, for hotel owners, for restaurant owners to come and find out more about how they can actually adapt to this. Um, and considering that load shedding seems to be going to be with us for a very long time, um, where do they need to start? What information is actually important? Uh, how do they fit that information to their specific business purposes? Um, and then, of course, devise a solution that's going to work for them and allow their business to uh, do as well as it can do. Uh, under these circumstances. Mm. I want to talk about the show specifically in, in just a moment, but before we get there, of course, sustainability is a big uh, topic of discussion as well when it comes to the hospitality industry, especially with climate change um, and all these other environmental issues. So how does this then become um, a focus point for you as the pressure of sustainability and sustainability talks keeps on growing? Absolutely. So ESG, um, again, covers all elements and covers all issues. However, for the hospitality industry, it does have a particular concern because, of course, for people to use this industry, especially if you look at business travel and long haul travel, there is already a significant carbon cost to flying to another continent, which flying somewhere for a conference, an exhibition uh, or some other event like that. So for this industry, they have to uh, do almost do more in this area in order to uh, help uh, allay those carbon costs just to get 
to the services to get to the destination. Um, so what this looks at is elements that like uh, which products they use, um, if you think of how much laundry gets done, how much water gets used, uh, if you think of the amount of cleaning that needs to be done in hotels and convention centers uh, around the country and around Africa, um, the sorts of products that they're going to be using really makes a very big difference. So instead of using uh, cleaners with harsh chemicals, you would look at using uh, cleaners that use bioenzymes to break down the grease. Um, and you're using more natural products and services, you're going to run your uh, dishwashers at lower temperatures or for lower amounts of lower amounts of time, They'll, the dishes will still get clean, but of course you'll use way less electricity and you'll have much less impact uh, in environment. So we're seeing this as ESG is, it's not a fringe element anymore. It's not uh, something that's a nice to have that's only reported below the bottom line. Um, ESG now is really central to hospitality sectors planning uh, because it does affect everyone and it's becoming uh, a business must. You have to take care of it. You have to account for it uh, because if you don't, your customers are going to be asking about it and they are going to be voting with their uh, voting with their hands as to where they're going to spend that if you're not addressing some of these things in your operations. Mm. Now, of course, you know, this year it is the Hotel and Hospitality Show. It is currently happening in, in Santon at the Convention Center and tomorrow is the last day, if I'm not mistaken, but next year, um, something very exciting happening. There will be a, a sort of a, a, a team up of the hotel and hospitality show, Africa's Big Seven and Index Africa. They will merge next year. Tell us why this is so exciting and how all of these different sectors will benefit from this. Thank you very much. Uh, as you're absolutely right, tomorrow is the last day of the show. Um, so the hotel and hospitality show looks at the sector of equipment that goes into a hotel room, uh, very similar to the one I'm standing in right now, of course. Um, that would be all of your uh, um, beds, your bed linen, uh, your tableware, your kitchen equipment, all of those products are available at Hotel and Hospitality Show. What we want to look at is from a buying point of view, what does a hotel need? What does a hotel investor need? They're going to start, if you're building a new hotel, you need to look at fit out, you need to look at lighting, uh, you need to look at, um, you know, those final products uh, taps and hardware and, and all those fittings that is going to give your overall ho your hotel, your property, that final picture. So we've launched Index Africa. This is coming from, uh, it's a brand that we've had for 30 years, DMG Events in the uh, Middle East. Um, and we've launched it now. We feel the time is right to launch this into Africa. And it offers those decor design interiors and fit out um, all the products and services and uh, latest trends coming internationally and from local manufacturers um, that you can start your journey there for your hotel. Once you've picked out those items, you move across into a hotel and hospitality show uh, to fit out the rest of your equipment, the rest of your hotel. And then by bringing Africa's Big Seven, uh, which is our retail-ready food uh, show, um, this gives the opportunity for food services as well. So if you think about what a hotel is going to be purchasing, a major part of their spend is going to be that food, the catering. How do they find the condiments they need? How do they find the raw ingredients they need? Uh, what are some of the new products that are going to help them with their experiential dining concerns that's going to help drive their business forward? So we've brought all three of these shows together in, under one roof. And this scaled show is now going to allow for thousands of buyers to come and, and see from hundreds of uh, producers from food service uh, all the way through to fit out under one roof all of the different uh, departments within that hotel, from facilities, housekeeping, food and beverage, and of course, general management, can come and source products and find products, find the latest mm. trends under one roof. We're very excited. We think it's going to be exactly what the industry needs. Um, and very lastly, and I don't know if it's just me, but I've seen so many different um, new hotels, um, some resorts, you know, all these many different projects um, in the pipelines and that are already um, being built um, for this year. I think there's, there are so many um, Marriott International hotels, I think 30 new of the Marriott International hotels to open in Africa alone. Um, so it does seem like the industry is not just, you know, picking up but it's also very confident about the future. Uh, it is massively confident. In fact, I was just looking at some figures today, and uh, there's a report for the 2023, around 480 hotels are going to be built throughout Africa, um, covering some 84,000 hotel rooms. And if you split that between North Africa and Sub-Saharan Africa, you're looking at around 45,000 hotel rooms being built in Sub-Saharan Africa alone, just in 2023, which is an incredible expansion. And that is a sign of the confidence of the industry coming back. 
something which came to light in our um, African Hospitality Confidence Index that we launched earlier this year. And it's really great to see. We did those surveys, that questionnaire last year in November, which was coming off the back of the COVID shutdowns and when the world was opening up. And even then, the industry was saying, we're optimistic. 82% said they're confident of uh, uh, a return to normal within the short term. That rose to 90% saying they were confident that this sector was going to make a full recovery in the medium to long term. And now here we are just six months later, um, the hotel and hospitality show itself, we've seen evidence of this growth because our show has doubled in size from last year. So whereas last year was a celebration of we're still here as a hospitality industry, this year is saying we're here, we're strong, we're ready to reinvest, we want to keep on growing, we want to keep on spending to make our businesses better and to take that forward. So that confidence is uh, being seen not only in those reports about future spend and investment in new hotels, uh, but also going down to individual restaurants and the thousands of visitors that have already come through the doors uh, and we're sure will come through the doors tomorrow as well. Thank you so much. That was DMB Events Portfolio Director Evan Schiff just giving us an update there on the hotel and hospitality industry. Of course, that show is um, still currently underway in Santon City. So if you do want to attend tomorrow is the very last day. Um, some great innovation they have there um, and also some top trends that you can, if you are a customer, um, you can definitely look forward to that. Some great equipment as well and new products they have. Um,